Saluton, gamicoi! Cai bona noviaro! Mi desiras al vi, che via tagoi, estu belegai, plena e gioio, che plena de sensorice momento por capti. Mi estas Matteo, che mi eclernis esperantum en dumil dectri. Set posna longe mi resignis. Quanta mi esperanto estas tre bella lingua. Oni devas paroli au usi gin. Pli bone connecti con esperantisto. Passiviare mi comencis de nove lerni esperanto. Ech mi ret contigis con un gruppetto esperante in autunno. Tamen mi ne dedicis Molte da tempo, nec molte da clopodo por plibonigi mi an esperanto. Do, dum citi uiare, mi desiras, desiras sperti pli in citi u lingu. Ec, mi comenzo, tui! Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily begin with Esperanto. And I'm going to share with you also some more information about Esperanto learning. So just simply go to, to this webpage, esperanto.net, and here, here you will find plenty of languages. You can choose your mother tongue or any language that you feel comfortable with. For example, if you click on Italian, you will find some links that will lead you to information about Esperanto in Italian or to some studying materials. As for now, I will choose English and I want to show you this Curso de Esperanto. It's a very handy, very helpful software with a nice um, graphic environment. Uh, basically, it's for free. You can just download it and you can even get a free tutor who will help you to correct your exercises. The course itself looks like this. It contains 12 lessons and it's really nice, well structured. At the end of each lesson, you will find some exercise that you can then send, copy and send to your teacher. Uh, I think that basically you can manage to finish this course within one or two days if you are really determined and if you, if you make a challenge for yourself. For example, you can do a 24 hour language challenge with Esperanto. It will be exciting, would it be? All right, so the next uh, big thing that I want to share with you is that uh, I've selected here three interesting events uh, that are happening in 2015. Uh, the first one is Summer Esperanto Study, which is a summer school in Slovakia. Uh, it's for one week in July. Then, going chronologically, uh, then there is, in the end of July, we have this big round Universal Congresso. This year, it's taking place in France. And as you can see, it's 100th anniversary. And then after this event, uh, there will be, uh, what's it called, International Youth Congress in Germany, in Wiesbaden. So it's right after that, it's starting on uh, 2nd August. So these three events, uh, I will definitely take part at least in one of them and register. Another great thing that you can do as, a, as Esperantist is that you can register here in uh, Adre on adresaro.org and uh, then you can search for friends to Skype with you in Esperanto or to chat with you on Facebook and so on. Uh, moreover, you can get help as an Esperanto tourist and you can connect with people who can offer you uh, stay overnight as you travel. Uh, something similar to this provides also Passporta Servo. Uh, however, the website is now only in beta version but it's a very exciting project. You can get in touch with other Esperantists over the world and you can also 
uh, stay at their places and vice versa, they can stay with you, which is really nice. Uh, with, what I like about Esperanto is that many, many uh, countries and companies they are really embracing it. And for example, this uh, Chinese uh, international radio, uh, they provide their whole website also in Esperanto uh, with news written in Esperanto, uh, radio, videos and so on. For example, I got interested into this uh, China ABC uh, where uh, they've got information about uh, where you can read briefly about Chinese uh, politics, economy, diplomacy, and so on. Uh, it's really very useful to find some topics in Esperanto that really interests interests you, uh, so you can learn better. The dictionary that I use uh, when I'm online and I want to translate something from or to Esperanto, it's on Glossby. It's really, really handy. Uh, for example, if I type here some word in Esperanto, uh, let's say Vortaro, it says here it's a dictionary and it gives me also some references, uh, yeah, also the pictures, like what it means, and also some sample sentences. So, Really, this is, I, I found it really very useful. And a uh, really very important web page for learning, for Esperanto learning, it's uh, lernu.net. Uh, you will find uh, many members already there uh, with communities where you can get in touch. Also, you've got courses where you can improve. And uh, yeah, also interesting feature is that you can register for the word of the day. Uh, and also similar feature, Word of the Day, uh, offers uh, this website, transparent.com. If you go to free resources and you find Word of, Word of the Day, you search for Esperanto, here we go. And here you can subscribe with your email address. So you can learn day by day, word by word, and then you get better and better. Then to memorize words, you can use Memrise. You just basically register here, type Esperanto, and you will find some courses designed to help you remember more Esperanto words. Moreover, you've got Esperanto radio. Uh, you can also find on um, Android or you know Google Market uh, or App Store uh, some apps for Esperanto radio and so on. So there are really many resources. And I'm looking forward to 2015 to make it a great year and to learn a bit more of Esperanto. Thanks for watching and Felicia Noviaro!